In Creo Parametric, you can import an image into a drawing. Sometimes you have a situation where you want to include a photograph, maybe you have a rendered image, maybe you have a mock-up, some other documentation that will help get your point across. In order to bring an image into a drawing, from the Layout tab, you have an Images command. And when you click on it, it will open up a ribbon that is the same as the Images command in part mode or assembly mode, you'll notice that right now everything is grayed out except for the import button. I will click on import and that opens up a file open dialog box. Let me go to my working directory. By default, it is going to the graphic library that comes with Creo Parametric. So in my working directory, I have a couple of images from the type dropdown list. You can see the different kinds of images that you can include like PNGs or JPEGs. Let's grab the one that I want. And you'll notice that just drops it in somewhere. Let me move it to where I want it located. You can see that we have all the different grab handles that we can use to resize it. I'll get it exactly where I want. There's also a rotation bar if you want to turn it around. And you'll notice that we have a bunch of other different options in here, like being able to set the transparency of the image or entering the width and height directly from the ribbon. When you are happy, just hit the check mark in order to put the image in there. And if you take a look at the drawing tree, you are not going to see the image in here. If you want to access any images that you have placed on your drawing, you'll use the images command once more. You'll notice that the only image that I have is active and there is a remove command if you want to take them out. Let me hit the check mark to complete out of there. And one last thing to note, if you are including images in a drawing, there is a config.pro option that you want to have set. Let me go to my file menu and then options. And down at the bottom, I will choose configuration editor. Let me scroll down in the list. I already have this option set in my personal config.profile and it is called save texture with model. Now this isn't a texture, but this option also applies to images. What this option means when it's set to yes, it will save that image in the drawing file. If you don't have this set to yes, then you're going to have to track the image file separately from the drawing. Even if you're working in Windchill, you're going to have to make sure that the image is in your workspace. Otherwise, you'll get an error. You'll have a little outline where the image is supposed to be. So again, I highly recommend that you have save texture with model set to yes. And that way you will be able to use images in a 2D production drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.